a fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. Well, that's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Ooh, thank you, Sam. Well, Eddie, I might not have got into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Albus. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No, far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly said Station Officer Steele's Nelly. Um, I think you'll find that's Betty. Station Officer Steele's Bessie ablaze! I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches, and that is one thing you must never do. I'm no fireman, Sam. I'll never ever do it again. <gasps> Wait a minute! That's my best hat! Told you! Norman! You said it was what brave knights used to wear. You are in even more trouble now, Norman Price. Come here! Ah! There you are, Station Officer Steele. Bessie is safe and sound. Well, you look a bit sooty, old girl. But we'll soon have you clean, pristine and gleaming. Ooh! There's a bit of dirt here, sir. And a bit of dirt there. And that bit's very grubby. Oh, you missed a bit, sir. looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Pontypandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. <laughs> Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current's quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! What I'd give to be back in my helicopter! The wind is northwest, the tide turns in three hours, plus there's a spring current running. There! That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam! Come in, Sam! Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Pontypandy Island and a lot further out from the shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Pontypandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. Will Tom really be where you said, Dad? I 
hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! You found me! There you go, Tom. Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. How did you do that? That was amazing! Just keep an eye out for the fox. Now, Radar, let's just see how fit you are. Oh, I hope Radar's all right. Come on, boy. You can do it. That's my radar. We've looked everywhere for that fox, Hannah. I, I really should be getting back. No! Please, Trevor. If we don't find him, Mum will be really cross. And if you go, we'll never get back. You'd be a real hero if you helped us, Trevor. You got something in your eye, Norman? Eh, uh, no. I... Um, uh... I see something red, and it's moving. It's the fox! I'll get him! No, Norman, that's a very tall tree. Let me do it. I am Chief Pioneer, remember? I just wish I hadn't had that pork pie for lunch. Keep going, Trevor. Now, a little to the left. That's it. You've got it! It's not a fox. It's not. It's a kite. Oh! Are you all right, Trevor? Uh, I think so. Whoa! It's time to call Fireman Sam. Proud to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favourite chocolate treat. No, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving him lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes, maybe a few. Mystery solved. <gasps> Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Go get him, boy. I'm proud of you. Fireman Sam! Thank you, Elvis! Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, Fireman Sam, but it was that nasty seagull's fault! Norman, it was our fault! We should have waited like my dad told us! Ah, <sighs> Mandy's right, we should have waited! Sorry, Mike! Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, Safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both OK. And we even saved the bouncy castle. Oh! <sighs> now I'll have to fix it and blow it up all over again. Thank you, Norman. Uh, when it's ready, Mike, can I have the first bounce? Ah, Station Officer Steele. How's Elvis getting on with my passion fruit and pecan pavlova? You said you'd ask Elvis to make it for me. Oh, that? I, uh, <laughs> it's been, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, Lilith. Oh, no! But the fishy fun day starts in half an hour. Um, Quidlington, I need you in the kitchen immediately. Sorry, Station Officer Steele. I'm playing at the fishy fun day. Don't want to let my fans down. 
but I need you to make a dessert. Someone say they needed a dessert? Oh, oh, no. I, I, I'm seeing double. He's not me, sir. He's my cousin. I'm Jerry Lee. Jerry Lee Cridlington. Another Cridlington? Oh. Oh, you should ask Jerry Lee. He's an even better cook than me. Ta-da! One passion fruit and pecan pavlova. Oh, Jerry Lee, that's fabulous! Mm. I suppose having two Cridlingtons around isn't such a bad thing. Ooh, delicious. I hate that sneakle. Oh dear. Sam, help! We can't get back! Grab hold of the end! Oh, thanks, Fireman Sam. Thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Ah, you see, the thing is, we used them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we can't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. No broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you had a warm-up before you started. Well, I... And built up slowly. <laughs> <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on! Where do you think you lot are going? There's no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, oh, yes, us. <laughs> yes, I, I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. OK, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. This could have been easily dealt with if you boys hadn't lost those floppy shovels. Sorry, Fireman Sam. In this hot weather, it's vital to be able to put out small fires quickly before they spread. I should never have left them alone with that cooking stove. That's true, Trevor. <gasps> sausages? There are sausages in this box! <gasps> we took the wrong box. So where is Mr Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rill? <sighs> Or Ocean Breeze over Cardiff. Oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box. Then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. I wonder what's in this one. Ah! Oh! Oh, no! My whiffy candles! Oh, no! Fire! Oh! Oh! The door's blocked! Too many boxes! I need to go upstairs. Oh, dear. I've never carried a penguin upstairs before. But I suppose it's the first time for everything. Oh, oh, oh. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? She'll only do those 
stuffed peppers again. Oh, dear. Help! I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Oh, you were back. How did it go? Oh, we didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dillis Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and hey. Dillis Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs! Yes, then. Danny and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. And Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? The chances are pretty high, Elvis. Norman. Sam's on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the Penguin. Waddily Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Waddily Penguin! <laughs> oh. oh, it smells all fishy! for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. OK, Phoenix. You can do this. Easy does it. Ah! Come on, Phoenix, let's get out of here. Penny. is ready to launch some. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. Lower the double harness, Tom. What is that, Sam? Oh, 
You first, Professor. <sighs> and now you, Norman. So, you two, what happened there? We're really sorry, Fyman Sam. We won't do any dangerous treasure hunting ever again. I'm glad to hear it. Still, it really is a shame that treasure is lost forever. Lost forever, Penny? Hmm. Today is Ponty Pandy Pete Day. But sadly, the treasure of Ponty Pandy Pete has been lost. It wasn't my fault. But at least someone's going to be playing the part of Ponty Pandy Pete. <laughs> Aren't they, sir? Oh, uh, yes. Well, th I have, of course, been thinking long and hard about this one. And I... Um, well... Big tangled houses! What was that? Aha, sir! Did you be wanting to see the treasure? Penny must have swum down and found it! Oh, well done, Firefighter Morris. <laughs> I think you might have found your Ponty Pandy Pizza. I have indeed. Ponty Pandy Penny. There you go. I say, it looks marvellous. Shame it has to go to Newtown. I think. In honour of you marvellous treasure hunters, we should open a Ponty Pandy Seafaring Museum and keep the treasure here! Hooray! I think that would be an excellent idea, Professor. I think it should be called the Norman Price Treasure Museum. Uh, no, it'll be called the Professor Pickles Museum for Maritime Artifacts. Boring! It will not! Will do. Will not! A will to not. Uh, uh. Wow, Sarah, that's amazing. What's amazing? Where? Thanks. I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah. yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But so this game is called In the Tale on the Spooky Cat. Smell burning. My house! My bath! Ah, this is so nice and peaceful. The cafe's on fire! Stop! We have to call Fireman Sam! Beep, beep, beep! Beep, beep, beep! Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Station Officer Steel has finally given up on the toffee apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh! There is a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. Take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter, Sam, air. 
100%. Ready, Elvis. Ready, Sam. Air 100%. Heat back, everyone. One at a time. Take my hand and stay low. children are out, sir, but keep everyone back until we have this fire under control. Yes, very good. Yeah. Oh, Cridlington, you appear to be wearing an ocean rescue uniform. I am. Um, I can't get out. Oh, stay there then. I might just have the very thing. The animal rescue uniforms are a softer colour, so as not to alarm the animals. And they're made from a material that's very easy to move about in. So, let's see how fast you can change into these. <laughs> oh, quick, Crittington, get the animal rescue uniform on. Oh, no. Did you manage to get all those pizzas in your oven, Hannah? Just about. It was a bit of a squeeze. Great. I'll call Grandad and tell him they're nearly done. Don't call Grandad, James. Call Fireman Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Electricity, Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger right that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I did it! I got out of my animal rescue uniform! I'm ready to fight the fire! I'm sorry, Elvis, it's too late. The fire's out. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alarm tested, Uncle Sam. The batteries are fine. Well done, James. You've completed the Fireman Sam Challenge! Hooray! Oh. Now, I just need to finish this. We're back! Oh. Oh. Uncle Sam, I spotted something else. But it's not in the house. What is it, James? There's a fire on the mountain. That's where the pioneers are. I'd better call the station. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Come <laughs> on. 
water cannon, Penny. We have to contain the fire. I'm on it. That's dampened it down, Penny, but we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. That'll do nicely. I'm sorry, Sam. We got a bit carried away making the giant bear and... Just remember to keep your wicker animals a safe distance from your campfire and your campfire a safe distance from your tents. You two should have known better. Yes, yes Sam. Sam. Congratulations, everyone. You all get your bushcraft badges. Hooray! And James gets a special fire marshal badge for spotting the blaze. That's more like it. Wait till you see it all lit up. Nothing like recycled Christmas lights to brighten up a model village. <gasps> oh, no. Fire at the flats! It's OK, sir. I've got this under control. My poor, innocent village. Spectacular circus sheep! Now this is entertaining! Wait till you see them jump the trembling tower of crockery! Jump, my woolly wonders! I'd better call for him and Sam. There is a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. There's a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. Sounds like they're heading this way, sir. <gasps> no, my model village. We'll need to act fast and set up a blockade. Right, we'll need Arnold, Ellie and Elvis to bring all the vehicles down. Then we can block off this street, this street, and this street while we round up the sheep along here. Roger that, Sam. We'll be needing our animal rescue uniforms. up the runaway sheep now, sir. Did you come because of my amplified advert? No, we saw Mandy's posters. What's on with the Jew back, Sam? Should be quite soon, Joe. I'll see if Penny's got a visual. Any sign, Penny? People are arriving to welcome them back. Still nothing, Sam. Hmm. We hope they're not in any trouble. Good girl. A flare! 
It must be Ben and Hannah. They are in trouble. An emergency flare has been fired from Pontypandy Island. An emergency flare has been fired from Pontypandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. in the current. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Hey! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. <laughs> Told you! It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. There's no one driving the train. And it's on fire. There's no need to panic, everyone. Move to the back of the train and stay calm. Look out, Sam! Um, I'll get out your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Get past the ice. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the line. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo. Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on my interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman. Thank you. That's Ruby. Thank you. Norman, Norman, this isn't time. Norman. Shh, I'm on a call. Flyers above the train top. No worries, Sam. Norman, so look! Your phone call worked! <gasps> it's a UFO! Until this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow! Drop me off here, Tom.
Right. On with the show. Oh, hey, hello, Ponty Pandy. Done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right, all clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. This place I know where the people say hello. Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be. Turn it all the way up, Joe. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that. Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam. I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Move back, everyone. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 metres further back for maximum safety. All out, Sam! Yeah! Off the eyes, everyone! I can't! <gasps> Whoa! I better call Fireman Sam! Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. The ice is melting, and the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. I'll get Norman. Power up, Sam. Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Oh! Ah! Now look what you've done. My human Sam can't reach me. Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pengy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Come on, Norman. You can do it. Now, Norman, 
This penguin is to help you to learn to skate. You're not meant to play ice hockey with it. Sorry, Sam. And certainly not when there's electrical equipment around. Yes, you knocked over me lights. Only because they weren't secure, Mike. You should have checked those stands properly. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. It's my own fault. But now my whole ice rink's melted. It'll take me ages to fill it again with my garden hose. Don't you worry about that, Arnold. You'll soon have your ice rink back. On a cold night like this, it'll be frozen by morning. Yay! We can play on the ice rink after all! Whoa! Oh, no! Fireworks! There's a fire! <laughs> In the tent, where they're keeping the fireworks. There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. That lot could go up like a rocket. There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Those fireworks could go off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, hello. Penny, you keep the firework boxes hosed down. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Looks like this tatty old board was the cause of the fire. That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike. Especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks OK? Well, these ones are a bit soggy. But I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go and get the one from last year? Well, that's it. Better close up for the night. <gasps> Norman Price! Those coconuts were stuck down. <gasps> no wonder poor Trevor could knock them off. Uh-oh. Run! Ah! Oh, Dillis. Oh, Trevor, you do look a fine figure of a man. <laughs> well, that's over for another year, Sam. It was less trouble than last time. It's not fair. Sarah's pizza is bigger than mine. Uh, 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 my, my head's stuck. Ooh. Just drop the hammer on my foot, eh? Keep walking, Penny. Just keep walking. Stand back, everyone. Sam, we can't find James. He didn't do his froggy finale and he's, he's not... locked in the changing rooms. What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut. I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him, and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh, no. What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just loading up. 
It's all right, James. Stand back. Uncle Sam! I got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. OK, Tom. I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. I'm sorry, everyone. Sorry, James. So you should be, Norman. Trapping someone anywhere is a very dangerous thing to do. When everything's fixed, we're doing the froggy fantasy again, but you're not going to be in it. Ha! Yes, someone else can play your part, Norman. You'll be doing fire safety lessons with me. Ah! Quite right. Thank goodness for some splendid firefighting. You did a good job, Quillington. Sneezes and all. Oh, thank you, Station Officer Steele. I... Uh, uh... <laughs> Quillington! <laughs> Looks like you found a replacement froggy for Norman already, Bronwyn. When you do, can you tell me if I've been turned into a bat? I'm sure I got flapped down there. Don't be silly, Norman Price. Hang on, someone's missing. Yeah, where's Mandy? Oh no, maybe it got her. The mad bat of Bunty Bunty. Oh, there you are. And you're hanging upside down. Brilliant. Norman is so wrong. You're scared of me, not the other way round. Oh, this must be one of those underground streams. Oh, no! Oh, no! Mandy's been turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price! Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam! Mandy Flood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountains, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Okay, Mandy. Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. What's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Station Officer Steele working on the handcart. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fire. 